So what's up? Yeah. We're going to get some In-N-Out. You know why we go to In-N-Out so much? One, I got a five-year-old who's just hooked on In-N-Out. But the reason he's hooked on In-N-Out is because we go to In-N-Out. And we go there versus Whataburger. And you Texans know you favor Whataburger typically. Um, but this conversation I'm thinking of right here is really about quality. And Whataburger can't hold a stick to in and out And there's some reasons why. And I know Texans are going to disagree with me, some of you. But it's the management. It's the company. It's the fact that in and out launders the uniforms daily. Each time an employee gets to work, they go put on a fresh laundered uniform. That matters to me. That's important to me. I don't ever worry about get, catching some food poisoning in, in and out. And I don't see an employee greet me with a wrinkled up uniform that looked like it got wadded up and stuffed in the back of a trunk overnight. You know what I mean. Mustard wiped on the leg from the day before. That kind of thing. There's a certain level of quality I appreciate. So that brings me to my second topic, Teespring, right? Teespring partners with YouTube and for content creators, they make it really easy for you to make a little extra money on the side. And if you get your channel up to 10,000 subscribers, you get to have the link right on the bottom of every video where people can see the merch that you might have. And it basically it's like shooting a tip out to the creator and be like, hey, I like your content, keep doing it. Because it's a lot of work. I've spent a lot of work. Another video idea one day, should you ever start a YouTube channel? It's a lot of work. I was hoping for the best, I really was. I ordered three shirts right out of the gate and I ordered some more before I even got the first shipment. And the first shipment came in and at first sight, they looked pretty good. The quality felt all right, but you know, you gotta wash it. You gotta see how it shrinks. You don't want to. You don't want one of those boxy T-shirts that you lose all the length. It barely hangs down to your belt. You got short sleeves. You know the deal. But it's super wide, like you could fit your whole family under it. <laughs> uh, I don't want any shirts like that. I'm over that. And I'm not even talking necessarily having a fitted t-shirt, but at least a good quality cotton, you know, kind of oversized, true to fit kind of shirt. Um, I don't think any of us are really worried about saving a few bucks for having something not worthy. And honestly, this is the way I feel about Teespring. Now that I've washed them a couple times, they keep shrinking, fading, they're not as good. They're not as good. They're just not as good. I talked to a, a friend the other day who ordered one of the coffee cups, which I never got mine yet because I had Teespring cancel my orders. Um, that he said, I think he put it in the microwave or something like that, and the cup started to get little cracks in it. And he's like, oh, I guess I'm not going to use it as a coffee cup, you know, more as like a decoration kind of thing. And dude, that's lame. That's totally lame. I want real coffee cups. So, I'm kind of taking my links down. I'm not promoting that anymore. I don't know that it's ever gonna disappear. I asked, uh, I asked to not be a partner with it just because I'm not digging the quality. So as much as I'd like to have a little bit of a monthly something, you know, take the family out to dinner, uh, it's not worth people getting roped into something that doesn't make them feel good. I guess their highest quality shirt is the Tri-Blend shirt. That's not one that I ordered. I ordered three of the other different styles. And they were all decent. Like I'm saying, it wasn't a big problem except two out of three of the t-shirts I bought, the sleeves were different lengths. One shirt actually had one sleeve a half inch shorter than the other. And the other shirt had one sleeve a quarter inch shorter than the other. That is not a deal for me. Uh-uh, you're out. And on one of the other t-shirts, probably the higher quality shirt out of the bunch, dude got logos put on both. Crooked. So, 
I don't know. I called up Teespring and they asked to send a picture and they have no problem like either refunding your money or sending you out more shirts. You could probably end up with a whole dozen shirts <laughs> if uh, if they kept screwing up. But um, anyway, that's where I'm at with Teespring. I've got a couple of my logos being made, remade in even higher resolutions because I started talking to a silk screener here in town that uh, was, you know, kind of letting me know exactly what to do to really get like the ultimate quality. And I know um, the place where I work prints on some really nice t-shirts. So I got in contact with that company and going to get the real quality stuff. So that might be a week or two out. And uh, you know what? I'll try it again. You know, I'll wear this stuff myself. And if anybody's interested ever, you know, hit me up on an email or whatever. And I kind of like the idea of being able to ship directly. Where, you know, like, I can scribble a little note out with a thank you and some stickers or something like that. A little more of a personal touch sounds better to me. Since I'm talking about quality, you might notice the area around my head looks a little different here. I'm in a new truck. My Toyota Tacoma was a 2006. It has 300,000 miles on it. And it's reaching that point where I'm going to end up being under the hood and on YouTube maybe more regularly. I guess I could be looking to drop the 1,000, 2,000 deal. You know, when you go to the dealership. Uh, when you go to the dealership, it's five, six thousand, right? But when you go to the mechanic, and then you wonder, and you get the anxiety from this, like, are they going to know what it is? Are they going to fix it? Are they going to fix it correct? Or am I going to be in a position where I feel like I'm going to need to repay for someone to do the same work over again? Dude, I don't want to feel that way. So, man, I just bit the bullet and did it. And going back to quality, I'm going back to Toyota. I've had all other makes trucks. Dodge, Ford, Chevys, GMCs, basically a Chevy. And they've all burned me. I've always been into lifting my trucks and putting big wheels on it and all of that. And I'm out of that stage now. But So I'm sitting in a new 4x4 Toyota Tundra. I love this thing. This is the best truck on the road. <laughs> and uh, it feels good again. You know, 0% financing. Uh, 60 months I'm just going to get in and get this paid off as soon as possible so that is the goal it's a little nerve wracking to make a purchase like this in 2020 I think but on the same hand if we got to skip Dodge I want to be able to do it in a Toyota okay so skip Dodge means skip town if I need to get out of town bug out or something like that I want to do it in something reliable. So that makes me feel a little comfortable. But um, anyway, so that's my thoughts on quality. I'm giving you like three examples of quality where it matters to me. It really does matter. Anyway, guys, talk to you later. We're about to pull up to the red and white delight right now. AKA in and out. Yeah. We're going to pass two water burgers to get there. <laughs> Laters.